Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today, we're doing Who's Your Hidden Enemies? I don't care where you're from, how old you are, I don't care your sex. Everybody has hidden enemies. Like, let's not forget, I went out like two days ago and I just realized I did not like the person I was hanging out with. I mean, I was like in a little group setting, but it turns out I just found out I didn't like somebody. So let me tell you, there's people out here that don't like you and you don't even have a clue on why and how and what the fuck, you know? <laughs> so um, today I'm super excited. We're going to do this. So we're going to start with power. Okay, I'm going to do four pals today. Timestamps will be in the description. Please meditate on these, um, please. So yeah, we're going to start with pound number one on who is your hidden enemy. Oh my God, I love this. So, yo, this is so fun. Okay, so please come in. Give me some guided messages. If you don't belong here, please get the fuck out. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to start today with my favorite, favorite tarot deck, the Modern Witch Tarot. And we're going to start with pile number one on who is your hidden enemy? Like, who is it? First, we're going to do who is it? Who is the hidden enemy? And then we're going to do why. Why they don't like you? What's going on? Why they why they your enemy? Like what the fuck? I'm telling you, people are weird, guys. But listen, we gotta keep people like panties. Once they're too dirty, gotta throw them out. <laughs> Literally, like I I personally I give people chances, you know, because nobody's perfect. So in my head, I have a mental checklist on what you have done to me. Literally, and every day. I see the person, I try to clear the list off, but I don't erase it. I clear the list off when I see the person, so I don't judge the person, but then I will still write what the fuck you did in my head, and I will not forget. I will not forget, and I will forgive, but I will not forget. So, yeah, as I said, let's, let's fucking keep these mental checklists, you know, in the real world too like you know when it's time to cut somebody off it's time to cut them off you know what i'm saying so let's see who is my pound number one's hidden enemy like i want to know who's my pound's hidden enemy like we have to find out who is my pound number one's hidden enemy so guys i really miss my nails but you know it's looking a little slow maybe this week i'll try to do them try to do a little sign and names but you know i've been slacking on that so who is the hidden enemy okay let's go Is one of your friends. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. I got three of pentacles in reverse. And it meant reverse, baby. It meant reverse. Um, it's somebody in your friend group. Um, I say the thicker one. Or the, the one that's a little bit more, like, you know, heavier or chubbier. Or a little, you know, a little thicker on the thicker side. I say is that friend. Okay? Because I keep looking at her. Um, you know, <laughs> so this being one of your friends, I already described the person to you. So it's a little chubbier person. The one, the chubbiest one in the group does not like you. This means they don't like you. They're your head and enemy. Um, some of these groups, you guys either have three friends or you're like in a three friend group. The person that's the chubbiest is the person that does not like you. And this is very fucking specific. So if you don't have any friends, it's somebody that's a little chubbier than you in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's get another message on who it is. Queen of Cups. Justice. Aww. It's like, okay... Either sooner or later, you're going to find out that this person is really fake. Unless you yourself, you know, you come up to them and like, hey, do you have a problem after you watch this video? Which I don't recommend. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. You know, it's good to be aware of your surroundings. But you don't have to really act upon it. Like today, I was about to unfollow a lot of girls. But, you know, I told myself, do I really, really want to start all that right now? Yeah, I am. Never mind. I'm going to unfollow everybody after this video. Yes, I am. Because I just realized that, you know, 
in order to level up, you gotta leave behind. Like, it's a, you know, I don't like to view the universe as a give and take type of person, but low key, they like that. The universe is like that. The universe is like, I'm gonna take away this person, but I'm gonna bring somebody get better. I'm gonna take away this. I'm gonna fuck up your car, but then I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a mechanic. You know, it's like, you know, it's always some stupid shit with the universe. But hey, at this point, I've learned to listen to my intuition. And if I feel like I don't want to associate with certain people, fuck it. I don't care. Like a type of moment in my life where I just don't care anymore. And that's what I want to teach my subscribers that you can overcome your fears. You can overcome difficulties just by not giving a fuck, just by not fearing the unknown literally so let's talk about these fucking hidden enemies because we got to get straight to the point pal number one um fuck and if you're not older than 18 you need to leave this video because i curse a lot and i'm not stopping okay so <laughs> okay guys okay this hidden enemy, I already explained who it was. It was somebody in your friend group, somebody that was a little bigger. But um, why is this person your hidden enemy? Why is this person your hidden enemy? Ho, ho, ho. Why is this person my pile number one's hidden enemy? And we're doing reversals for this one, so yeah. Um, who's their head? Why is this person their enemy? Why this person's considered as an enemy? Why is this person considering my pile as an as that enemy let's go for group number one i feel like before i even told you this person i feel like you already deep down in your gut knew that this person was that person because you are very intuitive um this pile pile number one you're very intuitive you're very like up to date yeah you know what's going on you feel energies energies doesn't lie so this person probably been shady or tries to like you know brush you off or cut you or cuts you off during conversations that's what i'm getting for somebody else cuts you off during conversations like you'll you'll probably be like yeah i'm going to mexico next week oh i've been there or like trying to like lower whatever you say that's what i'm getting for this pile um why is it your enemy okay Oh! Okay, for some people, you probably started dating somebody new and this person probably has a crush on them or had a crush on them. But this person is definitely not is doesn't consider you like a friend, a real friend because I feel like they either like your partner, they either have a crush on your partner, which is so stupid and disgusting. They have a crush on your partner or they're jealous of your relationship. They're jealous that they cannot get a partner like yours. That they're jealous that they couldn't get that opportunity to get somebody so fucking delicious next to them like you do. Yeah. You heard that. So this person is jealous of your relationship. And that's what I'm getting here. Like, overall, a jealous person. That's what I'm getting here. Just a jealous individual. I feel like this person is very insecure with their body. And they're, and they're just insecure with themselves, period. Like, they're so insecure that they feel like they're not like they're not good enough for men mm -hmm. so they creep on men that are already taken because they want to know they want to just they're curious it's weird but um what i'm getting for this power is that you better watch that you better watch that friend if that friend is getting too closely nicey nicey to your little boyfriend and let's say you don't have a boyfriend maybe it's like you guys were going out and y'all came across the same guy by accident and they got really tight or it was it had something to do with a guy though it had to do something with a third party even if it's not a guy maybe it's boy boy girl girl doesn't matter it was the opposite sex that came in and you guys it made this person feel like shit i got competition shit this person shit i need to take i need to have whatever they're having you know what i'm saying so this person is very eager to basically get in the pants with anybody that you get in the pants with you get what i'm saying like somebody that's just thirsty to see who you're in, who you with and and stuff i don't know this is what i'm getting for this pile but this is super crazy and why my edges look like that let me cover them back up okay so as i said um this person is dangerous just because they hide as a friend they hide in your same circle group you know what i'm saying and for some people, hold on, for some people, this might have been ex-friends. This, pe this person might have left the group. You might have left the group, though, pile number one. 
that's what i'm getting for this pile and that is your hidden enemy somebody on the chubbier side a person that literally was in an argument with you over the opposite sex somebody that um you felt was being a little you know flighty with you like a little yeah i'm getting flighty like don't really give a fuck about you like you could feel the energy that is like uh who are you like you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm getting for this pile but they're definitely jealous of your relationship that's why i'm getting that's why they're your hidden enemy um yeah so your hidden enemy your hidden enemy is definitely somebody right now in your life that uh makes you feel really insecure about yourself yes they make you feel insecure about yourself. I feel like they lie to you a lot. They make up stories. Um, sometimes you don't even know what's true. Like this person really be having you in some sort of confusion. I'm getting like friendship, like old friend vibes for some viewers. Some For some viewers, it was probably a ex that was a narcissist that made you fucking just wander like what the hell is going on with me what the hell is going on with myself and if it wasn't a lover it was definitely a best friend old best friend um current person somebody like that um person constantly made you feel bad about yourself um uh, this person literally made you question your whole reality question if you was even worth they just made you feel really really bad i feel like like really really low to the point where you didn't even know yourself you didn't know what to trust you didn't even trust yourself okay so why is this person your hidden enemy this is the question why is this person your hidden enemy like what did you do to them why is this person your hidden enemy yeah you know why they think of your enemy right now because apparently they felt like you know they won they won and so when no questions asked you should be the one suffering they should like a narcissistic fucking asshole that's what i'm getting for this person but this enemy um i feel like you're not near them anymore so they're just the enemy in disguise like they're just watching you literally from the social media just watching you try to spread some light into whatever the fuck you're going through but let me tell you something about this person they thought you won they thought they won but in reality you won because you walked away you didn't give a fuck you reflected on it and you took your power back so in reality the winner is you the loser is them because they have some debts they have some karmic debts that they're gonna have to go through their children's 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 mother's children's gonna have to go through period so this person was is your enemy right now because they cannot believe that you're not fucking with them. Even after everything that they put you through. Like, really? Like, you, are you really questioning why I do not fuck with you when you're the reason that I'm in this fucked up situation, that I'm in this, like, everything has been taken away from me, that I've been so insecure, that I've been so fucked up? You're the reason because of this mess? You've been spreading rumors. You're the one that caused this? And... You're mad because I don't want to talk to you because I don't want to be with you because I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You brought me down so many times and you're confused as to why I don't want to be with you. That's This is the reason why, guys. This is why this person is your enemy. This person is your enemy because you took your power back. This is an old friend, an ex-lover that literally uh, emotionally abused you, like made you feel like shit. So as I said with this pile, um, please cut off this person. If you're not with this person, then that's really good. You won. You have your power back. And nobody can tell you nothing. Um, Like this person, like... Basically, this person thought they were going to ruin you. Like, it was going to be the end of you. They can't believe your light. They can't believe you shine. They can't believe you working so hard. They cannot believe your savings. If you got a new car, they cannot believe you got a new car, that you got a new job, that you got new friends, that, you go, that you're traveling now. They expected you to be in this hangman. But no, bitch, I'm not in that hangman. You were going to lose. That like, you were just not going to be human anymore. That like, you were just going to be like a mental patient. That's what I'm getting. Like, they thought they were going to ruin you. And it's like... You turned around and you was like, psych, bitch. Like, nah, like, I'm not going to be in this hangman position. I am not going to be reflecting over the fucked up things that you did to me and think that I'm the problem. No, you are the problem. You're out. Period. Poo. Bye. Per. Bye. Um, so, that oh, my God, guys, I wanted to tell you guys, 
yo, Pete, like, you know, we try to change ourselves. This is a quick message. We try to change ourselves all the time to be liked, to be a good, to basically be liked so other people can like us. And so we just put back our own self just to, just because we're scared of what other people think about us. And I say, fuck that. Like, say I watched the fucking video and this girl was like, you know you're a rebel. Like, stop trying to act like you're not a rebel. Like, stop trying to fit in. You don't like everybody. Stop trying to make it seem like you do. Stop, like, stop. Like, you have this whole perception on what it should be. No. It sh there's nothing the way nothing should be. You should be yourself. You should be happy in your own skin. You should rebel. If you want to speak up, speak up. Like, period. Like, that's what I'm feeling right now. That's my vibe right now. So, I'm going to go with pound number, number three on who is my pal's hidden enemies. And as I told my other pals previously, you don't know who these people are. Like, you don't know who these people are. And they could be anybody. Like, for example, I just said, I that I realized that I did not like a lot of people. Like, in the past month. I was unfollowing people left to right on my Instagram. And I do not care. <laughs> Best believe I was not looking on my page to see if they was unfollowing me. Fuck y'all. I don't care about y'all. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been to the point where I don't care. Life is too short to wander, to be in situations that you don't want to be in. So let's get straight to the point, pile number three. Who are your hidden enemies? No, I'm not going to use this pile today. For pound number three, I'm gonna use my modern because I feel like pound number threes are a little bit more juicier, you know, juicier in drama. <laughs> so, who is my pound number three's hidden enemies? That was just a quick message for you guys. Like, I was watching a video today, and like, literally, I'm just like, I'm tired of acting like this fake ass person. I don't care who likes me and who doesn't anymore. Like, I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna be me. And if I don't like you, I, I'm not gonna be near you. But I'm not gonna put you down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put you down. If I don't fuck with you, you're just not gonna be in my vibe. You can eat, just not on my table. Go eat over there. And I hope your food tastes good too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I am as a person. But I'm done. I'm unfollowing, I'm unfriending. I can't do it no more. One more time. Who are my hidden enemies? Who are my pal's hidden enemies? I'm like, mine. <laughs> no, who are my pal number three's hidden enemies? Who are my pal number three's hidden enemies? Let's go. Who are my pal's hidden enemies? Somebody that did you dirty in the past and then you caught them. So it's somebody that you caught doing you dirty or whatever. This is definitely, I'm getting female vibes. So this was probably a friend, um, cousin. It was somebody that... Yeah, this person, they did you fucking wrong. Like, real dirty, dirt, dirt, like, done. They dragged your name. And you found out, and you cut this person off. But it's like, it's still not enough. It's still not enough. This person still watches you. Um, um hello, look at the phone. She still watches you. Um, I got the Seven of Swords in reverse. Look at her right here. And look at her watching you right there. Yeah. That person is just watching you. Um, of course, I'm getting a little, like, brown skin, little dark skin vibes. I'm also getting somebody with an afro, somebody with really big curly hair. Um, you probably went to the same school together, something like that. Work together, I'm getting that. Heavy. Oh, went on vacation together, one of those, one of those. But this person fucking dragged your name. Like, they dragged it, like, period. And you caught them, and you know what? Queen of Swords in reverse, you ain't letting get away with shit. I feel like, like, I feel like the same way they did you dirt and put dirt, you put dirt on them. But th that's why they're your hidden enemy. I, you think that time makes shit pass and people forget. No, people don't forget. So this is somebody that did you dirty, you caught them, you, you violated them back. You basically put them in their place. And you put them in their place, right? And... They were like, okay. But they're still a hater. They're still a hater in disguise. You thought you ruined them? No, they're still a hater. They're still talking. They're still watching. They're still stalking. They're still criticizing you. They're still talking about your outfits. They're still talking about what are you doing. They're still talking about your ex-boyfriends, your ex-situations. They're still talking about you. So that's your hitting enemy. It's an old friend that you did a lot with and that you no longer do any with because you realize that this person was... Fugazi, you you seen this person? This person is all Fugazi, 
bootleg version of you. This person tried it. This person was fucking envious. This person was everything. Like, oh my god. Like, I don't. I don't know how you could hang out with somebody like that. Like, I just can't. I can't do it. Um, I've been in situations where females are closer than I am, and sometimes just because I'm that bitch, they make you. They make. They make fun of you. Uh, so basically. Me being there, they try to make fun of each other to impress me. You know what I'm saying? And I see it, and it's like, it's not cool. It's like, I don't even want to be none of y'all bitches' friends. <laughs> so, as I'm saying, like, it's like that. Like, you realize, you looked at her, he was like, no, I don't want to fuck with you no more. Leave me alone. Like, I don't. And this person was like, oh, really? Now I'm going to talk more shit about you. If I spoke shit about you behind your back, now I'm going to speak more shit. That's what this person said. <laughs> so, yeah, this is somebody, this is a female that's close, that was close. So, yeah, keep in mind. But let's dig in deeper, like, on why this person is, why is pound number three this person's hidden enemy? Can, can we dig deeper into why pound number three is this person's enemy? Can we dig deeper into why my pound number three is this person's enemy? One more time, can we dig deeper on why this person's my pal's enemy? Wow. Literally, there's two same cards again, but just, like, different in reverse. This person is just, like, they, couldn't, they can't believe that they got caught. They can't believe that they got caught talking shit. I don't know. They just can't believe it. And so, now that they don't have access to you, now that they can't even come near you... They can't even come near you. That's what I'm getting for some viewers. They can't come near you. And that's just very, very, like, hurting. Because, damn, like, bitch, I used to really have a blast talking shit about you. And now it's like, what's my entertainment? Ew, sick bitch. Anyways, yeah. This girl is so upset because you caught, you caught her. You caught her, and now that's your deadliest enemy. Now she's like, yeah, now we're enemies for sure. Thank you for catching me. <laughs> Be careful, follow number three, please. Be careful. Be careful, pound number three. Please cut this person off. I already ex I already described the person in the beginning of the video. Now we're going to go with group number four. On who is my group number four's hidden enemy? 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 Oh, Lord, have mercy. If... Group number four, if you were attracted to pile number three, go back. Um, this is somebody that did you dirty. Uh-huh. Let's get another message. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. I knew it. I knew it. You know why I knew it? Because this is somebody that's about to do you dirty. This is somebody that's a new friend. This is somebody that just came in. Yeah, this is somebody that just came in. This is somebody from your workplace that probably came in. This is somebody, somebody like newish. I'm getting like the newish vibe, like fresh, 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 fresh. Yeah, I'm getting the message for some viewers that this person could either be a female or a male. It doesn't matter the sex. Um. Um, this pro this person is your head and enemy because I feel like you had sex with somebody that they're currently talking to or somebody that they used to talk to that they really cared about. So yeah, I'm getting like something sexual here. A lot of sexuality is going on here. So yeah, I feel like you guys either had sex with this person's partner, ex-partner, and this person is very like tight about it because they're like why you you know what i'm saying but it's like you know for some viewers i'm getting that this, this is this person's ex and it's like why are you mad because this was your ex and you're not with this person currently anymore so why are you still so mad or you guys probably have sex with this person's best friend and this person secretly had a crush on them i'm getting like somebody that is jealous of you doing something with somebody else i'm getting like the vibe that this person is an enemy because they were jealous of the person you were with or you were gonna get with or or they started getting jealous at somebody new in your life so this could have been a friend that got jealous because you got into a new relationship that's what i'm getting but i don't get friend here so 
watch out guys i don't think i'm getting friend um why is this person is this a hidden enemy so yeah that's what i'm getting like i'm getting like this person wow like i'm getting like yeah like this person was really really like attached to the person that you're either currently with or you used to be with and it was very toxic with this person like i feel like i don't know for some viewers this person even tried to intervene in your relationship um yes fucked up but this person was just too attached like this person couldn't let go and the other party they were ready to let go like they did not want nothing to do with this person like that party was just not in the moment for some people that party was probably entertaining both of you guys so i'm getting much third party situations i feel like this person hasn't come up to you because i feel like they're very scared of you or they're like intimidated by you or they think that you probably could beat them up um period per <laughs> um but i'm getting like you know they're very intimidated by your energy and your attitude so they probably never came up to you or anything but they're definitely your hidden enemy but that's what's a hidden, a hidden enemy somebody that is very scared to come up to you very much fearful very much per se you know what i'm saying so as i said um this is somebody that was definitely very um upset that you got with a new partner or you had a new job that they used to have something like that but definitely they're jealous of something that you have now um that they couldn't let go of even if this was an old best friend or this probably for some viewers a probably a mother-in-law that can't let go of their son and they're just constantly like fucking intervening in the fucking relationship like why why are you intervening in our relationship for you know what i'm saying so for some people this is a mother-in-law ex-friend co-worker or somebody that you're not even friends with that you guys just fucked the same person or you're dating their ex um yeah that's what i'm getting so that's all from my group number four um this person is a hidden enemy um i feel like this person stalks you through social media a lot fake pages i'm getting because i'm getting this little tower thingy in the back and i got scary movies so all that fake shit you know fake accounts fake everything um yeah that's what i'm getting for this person so yeah my group number four um watch out for this person and keep living your best life nobody can touch you what's meant for you is for you period per Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, follow me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.